Hello guys, Juan here with another Trapcode tutorial. Today we will learn how to control a particular system created with Trapcode Particular with sound keys. Okay, so let's just start. The first thing we have to do is create a new composition that I'm gonna call Sound Keys Particular and that will make 10 seconds long. Okay. In the timeline, I will create a new solid that I will use to add sound keys. Then I will import the audio file that I'm going to be using to control the particles. I will bring it to the timeline. Let's take a look to the audio files waveform. It's a nice piano melody. Okay, so let's add trap code sound keys effect to the sound keys layer. So we select the audio file as the audio layer. Since the waveform of the audio file doesn't really go very high, I'm going to use the spectrum adjustments to make some modifications on the equalizer. So for instance, I'm going to modify this scale, the Q or smoothness. I have to select a range that I will use to create keyframes. So I'm going to change the fall off to exponential and the fall off time to one second to have a smoother interpolation of the keyframes. So I'm going to click apply to generate those keyframes. I will create a new solid that I will call particular and I will apply trap code particular effect to it. That will be the layer that we will use to create particles. This is what we have so far. I'm going to change the emitter type to light. So what I have to do if I want to use a light as an emitter is create a light and call it emitter as the message says. So let's do it. New light and I'm going to call, I'm going to make sure it's a point light and I'm going to call it emitter. Okay. And now what I want to do is connect sound keys to the position of the emitter. Okay, so I will link it. Remember, I have to make an alt click on the stopwatch and use this twister icon. Click on it and drag it on top the output one property of sound keys layer. Okay. Now you will see that the expression has three parameters, temp, temp and temp. Those stand for X, Y and Z. Okay. So I want to have the X constant, so I will have it zero. The Y up and down is the value that I want to have controlled by sound keys. And then the Z, I also want to have it constant. So I'm going to click on zero. So let's see what happens. Now the emitter is being locked on the corner of the composition. It's moving up and down, but I actually want to move it more to the center on the X value. If I type 400, it moves to the right, but I want to have it just in the middle and the middle of the composition is 640. Okay. Now we have the emitter center on the X value, the Y value needs to be adjusted. So the first thing we're going to do to adjust the Y value, it's going to sound keys effect and change the up and minimum maximum value to custom. So I'm going to add some values so I have a range of movement over there. In this case, I'm going to type 200 for the minimum and a maximum of 500 and I will click apply. Okay, so now that's the range, the emitter is going to be fluctuating on the Y's. A 
looks fine so far. Okay, so now the emitter is fluctuating on the Ys properly. But what we have to do is adjust the direction of the particles. So we are going to select particular layer. We are going to go to physics, air, and I'm going to modify the value on the wind x, which means that the wind will affect the particles on the x axis. We can go to the four views window if we need to adjust it better. All right, so once we have the win on X more or less adjusted, I'm going to change the particle type to cloudlet. I will also increase the number of particles to 850. reduce their velocity to 20 so they stick closer to each other. Also I can modify the size of the particles. Let's have them around 13, 14. And in order to see them better, I'm going to go to shading and I'm going to activate the shadow light on the main particles, which make them look cooler. It actually adds some sort of shadow to the particles. Basically, what we are doing now is adjusting the look of the particles. Next thing is to give some color to the particles. So I'm going to activate set color, color over light. Okay, so we see the particles are changing their color through their life. I'm going to feather the particle shape. I'm also going to modify the opacity. We are trying to make them look like a smoke. The next thing I'm going to do is create a new light, a point light, that will create shadows over the particles. Okay, so I create light, point light, and I'm going to call it shadow. Also, I will create a new camera. So what I have to do right now is place the light in the right position so I get nice shadows over the particles. Just try to find a spot. So now that I have a light on the composition, I'm going to adjust the shadow LED settings. I can modify the color strength, the opacity, the size and the distance. Depending on what parameter I'm modifying, I'm getting a different look. So once again, this is a tweaking process until you find something that you like. Definitely the position of the light will affect the look. I see that there is a problem. There are some areas that are creating too much shadows. Not really like I'm not getting any shape in some areas. So I have to tweak it again until I get something that I like. Let's also try to change the light position.
So let's keep polishing the particles. So I'm going to add some air resistance. I'm going to go to physics, air, air resistance. Okay, let's have it at one. In order to make the particles more realistic, I'm going to activate the auxiliary system which will add extra particles. So I'm going to change the emit to continuously. Make sure that the types are the same as the main ones. I will activate color from main particles to 100% if I want them to have the same color as the original particles. Let's take a look. Yeah, sure, we have to still modify things. I'm just moving the slider so I can see the particles better. So let's activate the shadow LED for the auxiliary particles too. So they also have shadows. We are also going to activate the turbulence field that will affect the position of the auxiliary particles in 100 units. Now back to the auxiliary system where the auxiliary particles are. I'm going to go to control from main particles and I'm going to add 50 units into the inherit velocity. I'm also going to modify the physics, just modifying the air resistance, maybe 10. So I'm going to also modify the opacity over light of the auxiliary particles and the main ones. So I'm going to go opacity over life and I'm going to draw a fade out curve. So the particles will fade out by the end of their life. So I'm going to increase the number of particles, 2500. I'm going to go to the auxiliary system where I'm going to change the velocity of the auxiliary particles to 20. Also on the physics air mode only option, I'm going to increase the wind effect. This way the auxiliary particles will follow the main ones. Let's increase the particles to 2500. And I don't really like how the shadows are applying right now, so I will change the light position. So that's all for today, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you learned something interesting, so I hope to see you in the next tutorial, thank you for watching.